What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on Destiny 2. Now today we're actually going to be talking about a load of news including some of the new weapons. We actually have a brand new trailer and it's only a few hours away before the release does come out for the Black Forge. So jumping straight into this. So first off we actually have the veteran bundle I wanted to talk to you guys about. As you guys know this is actually coming out December the 18th and it comes with the knife trip and coin flip exotic emotes. Now, on the weekly Bungie blog post last week, they did actually show these, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick image or little video here of what these will actually look like. Next up, in the background, you guys will see a brand new trailer full of all of the new exotics, as well as possibly the last word, which is, spoiler alert, the last weapon that we see at the end of the trailer. So, jumping into the trailer. What we offer, Guardian, is privilege. Today, it would seem our doors are open to you. Welcome to the Black Armory. One of our finest. You're unstoppable! A fine choice. That one will last you. you're looking for. So the trailer was pretty awesome, so yeah, like I said, we do actually have the last word coming back. The other weapons as well look pretty goddamn awesome, and I really cannot wait to get to use some of these exotic, including that brand new amazing bow, which actually does a smoke cloud when you shoot it. And uh, yeah, such a pretty cool exotic. But moving on, continuing with the last word. We actually do have the exotic intrinsic perk for it, known as Fan Fired. This weapon can be fired quickly and continuously, faster reload and increased accuracy on successive hip fire damage. We also do have a last word ornament here, which will be with Tess Everest. Well, that is something that you guys can expect. I definitely expect it to be in one of her silver packages, but... We'll just have to wait and see about that. Let me know your thoughts in that comment section below. Moving on though, we do have some of the new stuff in the game. So some of the database leaks have actually come out. Obviously, it is only coming out in a few hours, the Black Armory update. So we do have some of that. We've got this new emblem, and it says it tracks the number of Niobe's Torment Clears. Now, this could possibly lead to a brand new dungeon. We do have the names of all of the raid as well as the other things coming in Black Armory. That includes the brand new forges and brand new game modes. So this, to me, indicates a brand new dungeon known as Niobe's Torment. Really cannot wait for that, so hopefully it is. I'd really like your thoughts in that comment section below. Like I said, we've got all of the forges listed, as well as the raid and all of the other activities. And we did also get that leak from Deej a few months ago, where he was actually talking about dungeons, and he did refer to it as there is dungeons, not just dungeon singular. So um, yeah, there is definitely another dungeon or another few dungeons on the way, so I really cannot wait for that. Moving on, we do have this brand new lock and key, which is an exotic quest. It does say mysterious box, so an ornate box with four locks. Each lock has a different symbol emblazoned on it. A hand, a butterfly, a fish hook, 
and a black armory insignia. Now if we look further into the uh, database we can actually see these keys here. All four keys are here, now this could possibly be a quest obviously but we could actually get these from the different forges. Be really interesting to see what this quest could actually give us. Being an exotic item makes me think that it could be some sort of cool ornament or maybe even linked to the exotic hand cannon, the last word. But again, would really like your thoughts on that. Moving on though, we do have some more quest steps. So we've got Scourge of the Armory. So Civic Syndicate, the Cow's Scrouge, is growling fast and seems fearless. Fallen are distributing his tainted black armory gear everywhere. Track the origin of the tainted gear by investigating fallen caches in the European dead zone. And we've also got another Lost Forge. The scan of Civic's black armory crates reveal the true origin of the tainted gear, another black armory forge. Explore an uncharted location on Nessus and locate the lost forge. So this is going to be the quest in which we actually go to the different forges, so pretty goddamn exciting. Moving on though, we did actually get these quotes. So, along with this, the black armory will feature a new mode called the lost forges. This is a free player activity that has its users facing off against waves of enemies. Unlike other PvE activities such as Escalation Protocol or the Blind Whale, this will feature matchmaking details on encounter. This will feature matchmaking. Details on the encounters were scarce during the interview, but DJ did point out that they will work differently than other PvE modes. We can also expect rewards specifically tied to these forges, but what those are remain a mystery. All four of them take place in a unique setting that will expand the boundaries of destinations that you've come to know and explore. Unlike the Blind Well, all four Lost Forges will not be available right away. While they are infinitely replayable, the different forges will be revealed in their own way in the Black Armoury. Ada One is the story agent who will give you these quests and send you to them. So it sounds very exciting, I'm really glad that there is going to be a matchmaking feature in the Lost Forges. It makes it very exciting and uh, it means that you can actually do this. Obviously when it's populated it's good to jump on it, but now things such as the Blind Well, when there's people who have done their weekly quests and you jump on on a weekend, it can be somewhat harder to actually find people in the Blind Well, so matchmaking is definitely a great thing. Talking about the matchmaking, we also have some of the loot that you guys can earn here, so this is just a basic picture of some of these stuff you can see we've got some of these shaders as well as emblems in the different um, different forges that you guys can earn some of the shaders do look pretty goddamn cool and we've also got the emblem for possibly actually doing that dungeon it does the say the source found by solving the mysteries behind the black armory's founding families so it does sound pretty goddamn cool. I definitely do think it is linked to a uh, dungeon like I said previously. But let me know your thoughts in that comment section below. Moving on though, we do have the Platinum Starling, which is a brand new ship in the game. Also an item that you can actually get from the forge. And it does say, found by completing the GoFanon Forge Ignitions. Now I don't know if this is a guaranteed drop. It would be interesting to see if it is. But hopefully it's one of them rare exotic ships that we can obtain by grinding. Next up, there was a question asked to Bungie, and they say, what kind of loot will Guardians earn through the Lost Forges? Will we be able to earn max level loot from it, some iconic weapons, that kind of stuff? Now, they did actually reply and say, you can actually earn max level loot from the Forges, as well as different iconic weapons and iconic armor, which is pretty awesome. You can also get some exotic drops from this, of course, and what they're basically saying is they want the community to explore the loot offering and make the final call on what our true god tier loadouts are. So very interesting again, I'm a big fan of the iconic weapons, I really love the Ikelos during our second DLC, and it really made that grind of Escalation Protocol really fun because you had something worth going for. Moving on, we do have the images of the armor that you guys can actually get in the forges stuff. So at the top, you've got the Titan. On the third row, you've got the Hunter. And on the fourth and fifth, you've got the Warlock. So some really cool armor by the looks of it. I really love the look of the Warlock so far, but all of the classes have a very, very nice shader with this. 
the black, red and white looks really awesome. Moving on to our last few bits, we actually have another legendary quest known as the Black Armoury Machine Gun Frame. So this is actually a basic machine gun frame and you actually have to go through a quest to actually calibrate it. So you talk to Ada then you have to do things such as collect star metal by defeating powerful enemies. And then it does look like you actually craft the black armory machine gun. Now there is other weapons that you will get this legendary quest for. Looking through the database you can actually get the auto rifle as well. But here we actually have the images of the weapons that you guys will actually be able to obtain through the Black Armoury. So it looks really awesome, you've obviously got the auto rifle, a hand cannon, machine gun, a bow, you've got a sword, a pulse rifle and a sniper. So some awesome weapons, I really hope that they uh, do give away the sidearm as well as submachine gun because I really do love the look of these. The most interesting to me is the sword 100%, it's just got a really unique design from what we can actually see in the image and let me know what weapon you're actually going for first based on the images. But yes guys that is pretty much the video for today, if you guys did enjoy a like it would be much appreciated as well as subscribing if you guys are new around here, but as always peace out and I hope you enjoyed.